support. Hey everybody, welcome to the live stream. And uh, Riley's I got Riley's already on here. <laughs> Riley's already here. Hi, Riley. Um, got the water. Got sketching uh, stuff. We're gonna work on. Got the Kickstarter loaded up over here. Uh, we just passed today. Today we had like 15 backers already on a Saturday. On a Saturday. We're at 911, which means we have unlocked the um, the stretch goal. And uh, where is it down here? There it is. The I Love Spaceships bookmark. So that is going in every, um, that's going in every single um, order that's I think $25 or up. So congrats to everybody. Allison keeps saying it should be a bumper sticker. I haven't priced that out yet, so we'll see. We'll see if we can afford that. It might be expensive. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> you might have that for a later um, for, add-on or something. For a later add-on or something. That's right. But uh, thank you, everybody, for bringing us to 911. It's an emergency backing number. <laughs> Um, okay, so today, if you're watching the last stream, you saw, um, we'll just, my light keeps turning off. And you want to switch to one of these? Um, I don't have a camera over there, so I can't. I mean, can I move this light over? Oh, that's a, might be a little difficult. We'll see. We'll just okay. see how this goes. I don't mind turning it back on, but. Alush wants to know how's the heat out our way. Today, Actually, today's nice. <laughs> we got a re reprieve, a reprieve, reprieve, a reprieve from our heat. Uh, we got a little bit of rain. We had some overcast, and it's only like ninety nine outside. Yeah, so so that's going good. Um, we uh, we cleaned the backyard, which was good. So it was it was cool. Um, Eric, good afternoon to you as well. Wolf 10 Media, how you doing? Alush, Kyle, great to see you all there in the chat. Okay, let's switch over to the sketching time here. I'm gonna drag my microphone over here. Um, I've got Allison working on the, the questions. I'm having a weird light problem. It only stays on for just a little bit and then I'm gonna maybe switch outlets for it. I don't think it's the outlets because it's not like it's not getting power from the wall. Yeah. Well, here's a good question. Um, Cedric Williams says, Jake, I know it's a weird question, but if you didn't do the artist path, what do you think you'd be doing career-wise? Um, career Circus. <laughs> Circus. I'd probably be... <laughs> probably would have found my way into like marketing or advertising or something like that. I think you'd be a good history teacher. I'd be a good history teacher and be making no money, no money <laughs> but enjoying myself probably. Okay, so I just want to review. We're going through and reviewing all of these that we've done so far. Um, we've got, I'm thinking this is like a, uh, like a garbage truck spaceship maybe. Um, here we have a carrot hauler, but it's really just a massive engine that's toting around. This is um, the the first stage, or I guess the fourth stage of a bigger rocket, but they've turned it into a, its own ship. Um, Jen says next stream we should probably do this early as early as possible. I don't mind doing a four thirty a.m. live stream. <laughs> you might miss all of the last. I know. I should do an overseas live stream. Uh, this is a ball ship. I don't know. Sometimes I just like doing, um, I just like doing my uh, uh, different shapes and seeing what what can come of it. Um, here we have the Tic Tac uh, UAP, unidentified aerial phenomena. Um, um, it's like a UFO. If you Google that, UAP Tic Tac, you'll hear the story of Commander Fravor in his F-18 when he you tracked didn't these. You that up? I didn't I, no. He, he, it was actually a New York Times story and a con congressional report on these weird oh. Tic Tacs that he was seeing. 
um, there's there's really grainy like um, radar video of it or something like that. So this is my fanciful version of it. Uh, here we have a Star Runner. Oh, I like that one. No, I don't like. That I know, else. I know. This is I wanted to do like a, this, I call this a Star Scanner. No, no, yeah, maybe that's what it is. But I wanted to do like a off centered ship. Like, what if there was an engine on one side and the cockpit was on the other? Seems like it would just fly in a circle. <laughs> I know, huh? Um, here we have what I was thinking would be a little drone. There's really nobody in the cockpit, so just uh, sensor gear and yeah, yeah, that's right. It kind of looks like the pencil sharpener. It's the pencil sharpener ship. This one's the space yacht. Um, I could see this one flying through at a more leisurely place pace. Um, here we have an ultra fast star runner, um, in a tiny ship. This is tiny ship. There is to show scale. I like how this one has this to really. Show scale, but you don't know how tiny the tiny. Ship is. <laughs> That's that true. Doesn't help. <laughs> Just to show that there's tinier ships. <laughs> Maybe I should put a tiny tiny ship next to that one. Um, you'll notice with all these, I'm trying to find good color combos. So here we've got the primary colors, red, yellow, blue, um, contrasting warms, um, greens and purples for these ones. Can I interrupt you for a second? Yeah. Jesse says, can you teach us a way to get the ellipses every time right? Oh boy. Ellipses. That's the trick. Um, yeah, I could teach you. I could teach you that really quick. Oh, I like the blue on that one. Yeah, so this is blue and orange, which are complementary colors. It looks like a face. That looks like a nose, and these look like eyes. Oh yeah, I can see that. Like a dog. Yeah. Um, I drew this one today. Uh, this one was done on two streams ago, so you could see this one start to finish. And the one we're doing today is this one. We're gonna color it up. So there we go. I'm gonna do some. Um. Alush says in Pittsburgh it's pretty miserable yesterday. Today it was nice, so ran out and cut the grass. Oh, how far is Pittsburgh from Philly? An hour or so. Maybe? Well, it might be worth it. So there's a restaurant in Philadelphia that every time we drive through, we have to stop and go get chicken parm at Ralph's. It's so we good. We don't get to do it this year, so we're all in mourning. I know. It's so good. Okay. Jose says, I would like you to draw ED-209 from the movie Robocop and color it for us, your fans and followers. Have you seen Robocop? Um, I saw it once when I was a kid, and I shouldn't have. It was, <laughs> it was too violent. Hi, Eric. Thanks for joining us on a Saturday. Look what Miles did to my eraser. You, would you eat it? <sighs> he's you not want a, another one? He's no. My, he's, <laughs> he's not allowed to use. He's not a dog. He's sixteen. <laughs> I can't believe this. What do you do with it? He's Have just like, hey, can hey, can I draw a spaceship? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Here, I gave him paper. I gave him pencil, and then <laughs> uh, this used to have a full eraser on it, and now it's like that. Okay, ellipses. Really quick, we're going to just show you guys this. Um, it helps to just find a, to kind of run, essentially run your, your hand in a circle like this and just get your, your hand used to that motion. this kind of motion, right? Are you moving your whole arm or just your hand or what? So what's going on here is, is for these, this size, it's all wrist, a little bit of finger, and a, and a lot of wrist. So you can see the movements happening here. And one thing I would do too is this. You've, um, you're gonna make a rectangle that's going, uh, going in perspective, right? So you have like, essentially you're drawing a triangle, but I want you to think of it as a rectangle that's in perspective, okay? And then you're gonna put an X right through the middle, and right there is your halfway point, okay? And then you put an X 
through this section. And right there is the halfway point between um, this half and that half. And then if you do it here, you've got a halfway point right there, okay? And so now, if I go over this even darker, you've got this, uh, in perspective, this rectangle cut in fourths, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your ellipses in these rectangles. This is gonna be kind of hard, but the reason I want you to do it this way is so that you could be thinking in perspective, right? So if we were to draw a perfect circle in a square, it would touch all the sides? It would, it would touch each one of these points right here, right? So you would go in there, and you could see that this curve is smoothly going between these points. It's not, you're not doing this really quick. This is an exaggerated version, but that's sometimes what people end up doing when they're trying to draw a circle. You want to round it out and make it as round as possible, okay? Now, the ellipse is essentially putting these things in perspective is what you're doing. So you're going you're gonna to go like this. Actually, we're going to find the center point. I was off a little bit, so it's going to be right here is where these two lines go. Okay, so this is where your points are all going to meet up, which means um, you're going to want a nice, it's hard, but you're going to want a nice curved roundness to everything, not this, okay? So you could see here it actually hooks up a little bit higher. I mean, it touches well, there, but it goes up a little higher. It anyway. It's not perfect. So we're going to do it here again. Okay, these points. Who says you can't do math? <laughs> is this math? This is totally math. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what would help you paying bills or with homework, but this is totally math. Right. So now we've got um, we've got ellipses in perspective, okay? And then if you want to have these things look like they're um, they're con concaved, you'll do a smaller ellipses here. And now you've got essentially, you know, a, the back of a spaceship, right? You could turn these into engines and you add little engines and you add little greebly things here and there. And that's that's how you do it. That's how you do that's how you do ellipses. <laughs> I have to say Miss Chips Ahoy says uh, ways to come up with ideas to create spaceships. Now I'm looking at my toaster and blender as spaceships. Mm -hmm. You need to do a vacuum cleaner A vacuum cleaner that'd be cool. That would be cool. Okay, so we're gonna color this one today. We did a little art lesson on how to do ellipses. And um, I need my I need my pen. Hey, it sounds like Alouche could definitely hang out with the Parker family. They're planning a trip to Chicago, mm -hmm. which is a seven-hour trip, just for a Polish buffet. Oh no, that That's, sounds like us. That sounds exactly exactly like we us. We travel the country looking for the world's best or the country's best donuts. Mm-hmm. We love uh, we the donuts. We found some winners and some major losers. Okay, we're going to add in our um, Parker Crackle. Can you scoot it up a little bit? Oops, yeah. Getting a little, little cozy here. We're going to add in our Parker Crackle here. Hey, Jake, do you plan to give any courses, art classes in the future? Yeah, actually, what I'm... Yeah, do um, svslearn.com in the chat. I want you to go to svslearn.com, and that is where, um, for the last seven years, I've been building with um, two other professional artists. We've been building a, a, a yes a library of tutorials and like full courses on how to do different aspects of art. Um, so, I actually have a. And we've and we've worked with other teachers too. We've brought brought on other professionals, 
Um, so I want you to check that out, svslearn.com. What's cool is right now we we hired some people to like help us with marketing and and to help us like kind of get the word out. And one of the things they, they said, hey, you should do a free trial. And that made sense to us. So we're doing a two a 14 day, two weeks free. You could test it out, see if you like it. And um and it's like um it, it it really takes you one of the first lessons is that thing I showed you with the ellipses. It takes you through from very simple step by step uh how to do stuff to way more complex, how to do um color and light, how to do composition, how to do um uh, how to draw vehicles when there's a vehicle one how to do props stuff like that so I would definitely check it out okay so we're, we've got our little crackles here happening we might come in and do these last uh, yeah, these actually color them last I want to get exciting. yeah I want to get to the main thing but I just wanted to have that there okay so with this spaceship because it's um uh, because it, I just want to be able to see here, because it's um, made up of different parts. This is like a uh, a spaceship that's got you know engines from engines from another craft combined to get two different crafts combined together. There's like a massive air scoop here, um, so these are all going to have like different colors to it because it's it's this ramshackled put together type of thing. But before we get into that, I want to do um, all of the. Uh, mechanical bits and we're going to make them all this gray color this is a c3 cool gray color that we got going on there so we're just going to go in and um, color these things like that and we're starting with the three because any lighter than that and it just isn't going to be um, I don't think noticeable enough um, we'll have light coming out of here, so I'm just going to do a little bit of gray on the on the edges. And the reason I'm I'm using cool gray is um, I I like that color for things that are. Um, I mean, I could do warm gray, but I like that color for things that I know I'm going to be coloring with really bright colors. Cause, and, and probably warmer colors, so it's going to keep things, um, keep the contrast looking really good there for them. Um, Jose says, someone asked him, and he's now asking you, how far does your imagination fly to be able to captivate yourself and us in each stroke and color that you put on your drawings and then make them ours? Um, yes. Yeah, that is a that is a really poetic question. Your answer had better be equally as poetic. Um, How do you put life into your drawings and not just make them? Blah? Yeah, so I'm always thinking of story when I'm drawing. I'm always thinking where, who built this? Why would they build a ship like this? What you know. And what, and what is a story? A story is about relationships and people and or characters and what they're trying to accomplish in their lives and what's stopping them from accomplishing it. So like there's this kind of this um, really simple way to describe a story versus something that just happened, right? So something that just is evident, just is, is the dog... Um, the dog saw, sat on his mat, right? That's not a story. That's nothing. There's nothing. That's your dog's entire story. That's my dog's entire story. <laughs> but compare that to the cat sat on the dog's mat. Mm -hmm. That is something that's that... Something's about to go down. Yeah, that inspires animation or uh, imagination. imagination. Hey, Mixter D, just, I don't know what it's called. Put a, look at... What's All right, he got, uh, it's a super chat. Thank you, Mr. D. We're still new to this um, YouTube <laughs> chat stuff, so... What's it called? A, a super chat, I oh. think. Or no, a sticker? 
whatever. It says good job on it, so we're doing we're doing something right. We love <laughs> Thank you. you. Even if we don't know what that was called. Thank you. <laughs> Mixter D. That's a fun name. Okay, you could see already just adding these little spots of gray. Made it less flat. Yeah. And does anybody remember the principle? Who was here for this uh, for this drawing? Does anybody remember the principle I taught you guys about design? It had to do with percentages. More math. More math. See, you can do math. I'm very good at visual math. I actually remember taking geometry and enjoying it <laughs> and, like, getting a grade in it. An okay grade. An okay grade. Okay. Nobody remembers. Nobody was here. Nobody was here for that. Okay, sorry. Shook the can. So essentially what it was is um, the 70-30 rule in that you want to divide up your, your design between areas of rest and areas of intensity, static areas and dynamic areas. And so we have these restful open areas which are about 70% of the drawing, and then 30% are all these busy dynamic areas. Um, but then each component should also capture that as well. So like this engine... So not like all in one corner. Have all right. Stuff. So this engine here, it's 70-30. It's 70% restful, 30% um, um, busy, busy and dynamic. Okay, now, oh, you know what? I missed, you guys, I missed a, a section over here. I'm going to go in there. So Miles was like, yeah, I can draw a spaceship. I want to draw a spaceship. He, he's very good about critiquing my work. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, and he's for like, anybody who just joined us, Miles is our 16-year-old. He's our very critical 16-year-old son, who I, who I absolutely love and, <laughs> and, and appreciate his, I do appreciate his perspective. But um, he's like, Dad, some of your spaceships are really good, and some of them are just, like, kind of wonky. Um, he's like, I think you need to spend a little more time on the, on the design, like the structural phase that you go through. It should also be mentioned, Miles wants to design cars for a living. Yeah, he does. And he's like, he's like, I would say 70-30, Dad. 70% 70, 70 of your ships are really well designed. 30% are like, eh. <laughs> Which just cracked me up. Had he seen your video? No, I just well, explained to him really that video. design principle. So it was fresh. Okay, um, so anyways, he's like, I want to design a spaceship, and then he, he wouldn't show it to me. He's like, never mind, I don't want to design spaceships. He realized it's harder than it looks. I'm going to go find his sketchbook. No, I gave him a, his own little sheet of paper, and he threw it in the black trash can. <laughs> he really didn't want me he to see. you're not going in after it. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, go look at the uh, the Kickstarter. Um, we're running we're running a spaceships Kickstarter right now. Oh, we got one person backed it since we started this. Thank so you. that's amazing. Thank you, thank you for that. Do you want to put the Kickstarter link in there? Just copy and mm -hmm. and paste that. Um, we unlocked the I Love Spaceships bookmark. So you're going to you're going to get that bookmark once you back this and what's going to be great about that is imagine this scenario you're hanging out with your friends and they're like what's that book you're reading there <laughs> and you're like hold on let me show you this page that I have marked and they're going to see that bookmark and just be like super <laughs> super jealous where did you get Ruben that book <laughs> just backed it Ruben Espinosa you are awesome all right, Ruben. Um, Fa Faku says, I love your creature creation and the alien characters of Skull Chaser comic. Thank you. So I'm thinking, 
since people like this spaceships book, we'll see once I finish it, once I ship it out, if I sell more of them. But I'm thinking of doing a um, Kepler's Guide to Aliens book, and it would just have all the characters from Skull Chaser plus creatures and things like that in there. I think that would be a fun book. And some new ones. And some new ones, absolutely. So what I'm doing is I'm going in with, now I've got a, a C5 marker. I'm just going in and adding dark, uh, just darker spots here with with all these um, little like nook and cranny sections of the, um, of the, all these like greebly bits. And what that's doing is it's adding a little bit of depth in some of these places as well. Yeah, he was so quiet. Um, Chris says, I backed your Kickstarter and was able to add on a few spaceships. Have you Thank thought you. about offering a remark option as an add-on? Remark a option? R-E-M-A-R-Q-U-E. Remake? I have no idea. Clarify. Please Chris, clarify. Wait, I don't know what that means. Michael says this looks great. Very. Oh, this is nice. You've been a huge inspiration to me. You basically started my never-ending spiral of art, and I never had the chance to say thank you, so thank you. Was that Barry? Barry Bospis. Mm -hmm. Barry Bospis? That was nice. Thank you, Barry. Okay. Now we've done all the bits. Okay, so I'm thinking, like three colors, maybe a fourth color. It's going to be a patchwork quilt of of colors on here. But before I get into that, I do want white stripes on some of it. So we're going to add a white stripe right there. You don't want too many colors. It'll look like a box of crayons. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, Remark is a small hand sketch on the cover or inside page. Like you sign it, but you add like oh. a personalized little sketch or something. Sorry, M maybe I should do that. That's not a bad idea. Put a limit on it, so that's a good idea. Chris, I like your idea. The only problem is that makes it take longer to get them out once the books get here. Oh, yeah, I would be a limited. Yeah, that's would, what I'm saying. You know, maybe I'd do that to all the, the people who back it. Um, the, well, he says as an add-on. Oh, as the an people who do who get an add-on? Yeah. yeah. Maybe. You make that an add-on. Gotcha. We're going to make the... We, we're going to make the front of this uh, a diff We're going to put a little stripe on the front here because I like stripes. Radomir, great stuff. Huge fan for a long time. Thank you. I want to know what people are doing on this Saturday besides drawing. What are you guys spending your day doing? I know people who are get stuff done, like chores and projects kind of people, and mm -hmm. then people who spend Saturday just doing the fun stuff. I'm trying to change myself into a Saturday is for doing the fun stuff person and I did not succeed today. <laughs> but Lucy did. Our daughter went to the lake or no, to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. She's having a good day. I like to do projects that will not need to be done again. Like cleaning the kitchen doesn't count, but tiling backsplash does or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, planting a garden counts, but pulling weeds does not.
I cleaned up all the random little leaves that were getting in our gravel. And how long today. did that last? And then it, the wind blew and it filled back up again. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I felt like Sisyphus. I found you standing outside with the rake, just staring. Right. <laughs> Okay, this guy, we're going to do green here and here, okay? It's all going to be ice cream colors? No, no, no. So this, I always start with the lightest um, color mm -hmm. and then work darker. Uh, and, and that buildup of, of colors just makes it so much more richer. This particular drawing is going to be offered as an add-on on Tuesday. Um the one I did today is going to be on Monday. This one will be on Tuesday. I've spent so much time on this, and it is so detailed, so it's going to be a Bigger little bit one. pricier than, than some of the other ones. But um, I think people, is this how many people, are people understand it. Yeah. Got 46 people here today? That's, a, that's great. So good to have you guys here. Colors. Okay, so now we're gonna go a little bit more. So that was a G. You can't really see; it's not focusing. It was a G one. Now we're gonna do a G three. Questions for Jake, feel free to type them in the chat and I'll read them to him. I think everybody's busy doing something else and listening to this while they do it. <laughs> That's good. Maybe they're planting their garden. So why did you lay down the lighter color if you're just going to cover it up with the... Again, it makes it a little bit more richer um, having both those colors. And oh, you're going to leave some of the highlights in yeah. And so, like, you, anything that's facing upwards, it's going to be that yes. lighter green. And plus, you know, I can kind of start to visualize um, what this is going to look like with that lighter color on there. I like the ice cream color. Yeah. Maybe next time I'll do a full ice cream. You should do an ice cream truck spaceship. That's a good idea. Like with the speakers on top. I know speakers wouldn't work in space, but still. Hey, it could work. That's a great idea. Okay, next next one. live stream. That's what I'm going to do. And it's a spaceship sells ice cream for aliens. Yeah. Um, and you can have the kids standing there with their alien dogs on some tiny planet that the spaceship stopped on. When do you want to do this again? And alien and their little bikes that they got there to the little planet, like so, like tiny little one-person scooter spaceships. But they should be real ice cream sandwiches, like the SpongeBob cone or um, what do you call it, popsicle and stuff. Yeah. The SpongeBob. I think. Last time we got ice cream, Calvin got a Sonic ice cream. And said, it doesn't taste like Sonic. <laughs> it was so gross. Um, okay, let's see here. We're going to add a little bit darker green now. On the anything that's facing downwards. So all of these downward facing planes are going to get this darkest green color. And that's going to give us some nice cool. shadow. Michael says, I remember the ice cream shaped like a foot with a ball of gum for the big toe. That does not sound appetizing. But sounds like something our kids would pick. I wonder, yeah, I wonder who came up with that. 
Like what meeting? It's like I have a genius idea. It's like when you go to an ice cream place and you can put stuff on top and the kids pick gummy bears because yeah. the ice cream <laughs> is so cold it makes the gummy bears like little marbles. Right. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna add a light blue to this white. Okay, so we've done our green. What's another color? Since it's like asymmetrical. Yeah. What if we do like the opposite colors, like do a red. Do a red somewhere or an orange. Orange or like a vermilion. Vermilion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. He makes a good point. Eating the foot ice cream, but also smoking fake cigarettes that were candy in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this engine's going to be uh, red with yellow stripes on it. I can't wait, is that going to look like a Christmas ornament? No, red with yellow stripes, and then if we put something like purple here, okay. there's no way. There's no way it'll be Christmassy. Okay. <laughs> Who knows, we might be... You might watch me actively like ruin a drawing. <laughs> Again, you're cutting off the screen. Oh, whoops. Thanks. So again, this is going to be the red one, but I'm putting the red highlight on here first. And then I'm going to do the yellow highlight. I feel like kids from the 80s mm -hmm. have the weirdest imaginations because of probably things like foot-shaped ice cream and fake cigarette yeah. candy. Cigarette candy. Cigarette candy. The 80s sound fun. You were really missing out, Calvin. But the 80s didn't have Pokemon. It's true. No Pokemon in the 80s. Got my yellow in here. This is my lightest yellow that I'm putting in here. And that's the lightest yellow they make? No, my lightest yellow in this oh. stash of of um, markers. Josh Lewis just joined us. Hey everybody, loving all the spaceships. Hey Josh. Hey Josh. Thanks for joining us. Okay, now we're adding our darker red, and, and again, we're going to go even darker than this, but I like I just like building it up so that that red's really rich, and then... So you leave that leading edge lighter because that's the um, light on it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. If I knew how to draw, this might make me a better artist. <laughs> I know, huh? What if you have all the colors on this spaceship? Unicorn rainbow spaceship. Hey, Wyatt wants to know, do you plan on streaming regularly after the Kickstarter is over? I do. Probably I, not this often. Yeah. I don't know. I probably match what I have been doing with Instagram, which is like once or twice a week, Tuesday, Friday, something like that. Week, yeah. It's a little harder when everybody's in school. Yeah. What do you mean harder? I just mean I can't come in here and read the questions. Oh right, because you're, questions. you're yeah handling that. Um. 
you know what we're gonna we're gonna do this. Now we're doing our vermilion Wait, color. Right. This is a, a R08. This is going to be maybe as dark as we go on the red. This is my absolute favorite color. Didn't always be. Didn't always be? No. <laughs> Didn't always need be. My. But it is now. <laughs> Didn't, Didn't always, always was. It wasn't always. It wasn't always. <laughs> Sorry, English is my second language. There's a five that goes in between. So I'm just going to go in there and do it to kind of blend these two. You know the galaxy behind every single spaceship? It's mm -hmm. always light and then darker. What if we do dark to light? Like okay. in the middle is darker. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea, Calvin. Okay, now we gotta add the darker yellow. This is definitely not a sneaky spaceship. No. No, it's not. I just saw a spot that needs more red on it. Great Eagle likes your drawing. Thank you. All right, does that look, does that look okay? Yeah, it looks... Are you not putting dark on that wing? No, because the light's coming at it. But maybe it needs to be darker, huh? No, maybe not. Maybe a tiny bit. Not as dark as the other one, but a tiny bit. But it definitely looks like the spaceship that comes when you've got a flat tire on the side of the highway. Great. Yeah, and maybe we do put on a... Let's see, red... Or yellow, eight, yellow. I don't want to mix up my colors too bad. Um, maybe what I do is find, I'm just going to go look at my other marker stash and see if I can find an R03. I'm so grateful, Penny. Jake bribed his 12-year-old daughter to organize all of his markers. going to test it. Seems pretty good. Makes it just a little bit darker there. There we go. 
Okay, let's kind of look at this whole thing, see how we're going. <clears throat> so we've got green and um, green and red and yellow. We're going to add uh, some light blue. What we're doing is light blue for the um, for any sort of white shadow. Okay, so that will look like the whites in the shadow there. Um, all right, what else do we got? You know what? We're gonna make this a dark, a dark blue. A darker blue right here, just for for more contrast. Chips Ahoy also likes it. She said it's cool. Thank you, Miss Chips Ahoy. Okay, now we got to figure out what the center thing is going to be. Um, we could do. Oh, I saw another thing that needs to be gray right here. A little bit more gray, darker gray here because it's under. And maybe we do like something like this too. Our green. Just adding a little shadow here. Okay, that kind of looks like looks like it's in shadow. Mm -hmm. Um, and maybe we need to not have as much highlight back there like that. It's all right. I need a nap. Yeah. Nap does sound good. There we go. I'm just seeing too that I forgot a little shadow spot right here for this as well. A little off frame, but sorry about that. So green, yellow, purple for the middle section, or pink. Um, Miss Chips Ahoy said she's working on learning a different style, opposite of flowers. Mm. <laughs> flowers are good. Maybe we do. Uh, maybe we do blue. We're gonna do this. These blues, which are our. Teen blues, 12, 14, 16, and 18. I think that'll that'll look good. Get in there and do this. So I'm gonna, with this one, I was thinking be, of doing blue instead of purple is trying this 70-30 rule with, with colors where 70% of the ship is going to be um, 
cool colors, and then 30% is going to be the, the warm colors. And hopefully that works. Uh, Josh says, hope you have a great Father's Day tomorrow, Jake. Anything fun planned? Um, <laughs> napping? <laughs> I think we're going to watch another episode of the Prehistoric Planet. Like nature show with dinosaurs. Going to church. Going, going to church. And... Um, I know there's a batch of cookies in your future for tomorrow. That's right. I did request... I'm going to need a refill for this one. For my ice blue. You requested chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. So that that should be good. And Josh, I hope you this is going to be your first second Father's second. Day. Yep. So, congrats. Hey, Johnny Cardoso just posted one of those blue squares that we don't know what it's called. Johnny, you are awesome. Thank you, Johnny. Really, such a good group of people have been showing up to these things. It's a lot of fun. Look at this. I'm going to have to... What's nice about this, though, is... You can pretend they just had a hard landing and so the paint all got scraped off yeah. the bottom. I didn't realize how dry this, this blue was going to be. Jake doesn't always read the questions in the comments. He just draws and I read them to him. And when we do this uh, over on Instagram, there's often quite a few salty people. But <laughs> I keep telling him the people on here have all been incredibly kind and nice and interesting. Reagan says, love hearing that marker squeak. I actually do too. Is that Miles back from the gym? Yeah. Dad was talking smack about you mm -hmm. while you were gone. <laughs> no, no, I was just describing. Did you eat the end of his pencil? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you went to town on my eraser, Miles. <laughs> I was saving that eraser for. Posterity, you. Probably. For, for my mistakes. <laughs> it's okay. What'd you get for. For letting him live in the house? <laughs> It's worth it. <laughs> One thing I did not know we were going to have this much of, mm. having a house full of teenagers, is flexing in the mirror. <laughs> Miles just got home from the gym, and I just turned around, and he's standing in front of the mirror, showing his muscles. Absolutely. You you had uh, how many brothers? You still have them. They My didn't. My brothers were incredibly well, except for one. Uh, always wore a shirt. There was no walking around flexing at my house, except for one. So they must get it from you. Yeah, I, I did a lot of flexing growing up. There's even photos <laughs> here and there. You still do it. It's not as impressive now, <laughs> truth be told. Hidden Hand says, in space, no one can hear ice cream. You know, I have a hard time <gasps> hearing ice cream on Earth either. That's a good... That is a good tagline. Uh -huh. In space, no one can hear ice cream. It's really smart. Okay, now we're going to our B16 dark one. They can't see it when you hold it up. It hasn't focused on it even more. Well, just letting you know. Just, it's just a courtesy. <laughs> yeah, I think this blue... 
This looks really good. It goes nicely with the green. I was a little worried I have to stay. Yeah. Your coloring has come a long way. It has, hasn't it? I appreciate that. I didn't have a lot of coloring confidence. I had some coloring insecurities for most of my life. So, yeah. Would this be that light? What, this part right here? Yeah. No, you're right. Thank you. This is, this is really handy having you here. I'm sure. <laughs> Jake's just waiting for me to say, I gotta go do something else. <laughs> and actually, I think this would be under two. Something like that. Reagan says, absolutely love the lighting surfaces taking shape on this thing. Thank you. Um... Is it a white stripe or should it be a different color stripe? Don't ask me. I'm the worst person to ask. Okay. I like the white stripe, but I like white stripes on stuff. Hey, Linus wants to know, have you checked out Chris Foss' channel? Um, Do you know who that is? F-O-S-S? -S? Yeah. His channel? Which, what is it? I haven't. It seems like something I'd be into, isn't it? He's a he's a spaceship designer, right? Are you asking me? I'm asking whoever whoever that was again. Linus. Linus. Um, what are, what are we gonna do for this door? I want the door to be. Oh in. yeah, look at that one. Yeah. Definitely I didn't. Definitely Chris Foss vibes. Right. So he was my. When I was a little kid, I, my dad got me a Chris Foss art book from a thrift store. And um, and I just absorbed that. Some of that still shows up in my work today. Okay, we're going to gonna give him an orange door. He's British. And he's 76 years old. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like his spaceships. Orange door. Okay. Now we're going to add um, jet not some some lights coming from the engines, engines, and they're just going to be pink. Oh, With all these bright colors, this would be cute hanging on the wall in a kid's room. That's true. Yeah, so if there's a kid that you're wanting to be into <laughs> spaceships. Or they already are. Or there already are. You might consider. What do you think, Tommy? Looks good. You might consider this. Okay, and we're going to make the um, windows orange as well. And now we're going to go in and add some highlights to make those windows look more windowy. Is that just a regular white colored pencil? Yeah, just a color race. Oh, you're coloring over the ink and the marker. Yeah, so it, it kind of looks like there's a glare on them but not all the way to the edge yeah, yeah. okay it, it works kind of um i'm just looking if there's anything i'm i missed on here i think this is i think we're calling this this one done i'm gonna go in I'll, we didn't want to stream all saturday but i think we're gonna call this one done and uh um, we're gonna call this one done and 
I'll do the background because that was it's a little tedious to watch. So we'll save that background later. I like it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I'm gonna switch here to camera. FaceTime mode. <laughs> <laughs> And I just wanted to see we've got we had another backer for the um, for the Kickstarter. So thank you so much for that. Let's look at this really close. We got um, we got 913 backers. So if you want to back this Kickstarter, if you haven't yet, I know a lot of you here have already done it. Um, the most so. Probably the, the best value, if you're into all the extras, is going to be the sticker, pin, spaceship, book, all this stuff. Comes with comes with everything. Um, we have all the different tiers here. And then on Monday, I'm going to add... These things sell out pretty quick. I'm going to add um, one of the ships. The one I did today will probably be added on Tuesday. So if someone wants that, check back Tuesday. I'm also going to do a post where we talk about the next um, the next uh, stretch goal, which is going to be a sticker, I believe. I so you said it was a calendar. Calendar, I think, is the third one. So it's your Kickstarter. You get to make them official. <laughs> I do. Oh, Reagan Lodge is here. Hey, man. Good to see you. All right, we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it good today. Thank you, everybody, for, for joining us, and see you next stream.